Hey guys, welcome back to the Whiskey Dude channel. I'm your host, Whis Whiskey Matt, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing another bourbon in my collection, which is uh, Four Roses Bourbon, straight Kentucky bourbon. It's right here, I'll hold the bottle up so you can see it. In my review, I'm going to be discussing what Four Roses means. I'm not really going to go into the history uh, because it's pretty lengthy. Probably just read about it online. My review is going to be very basic. I'm going to do a nosing, a tasting. I'm going to tell you if you think, if I think you should buy it, and uh, um, my my rating scale. So, anyways, let, let's jump into the review straight out. Um, Four Roses. I'm sure you guys, I'm sure everybody's pretty much seen this bottle in the grocery store, liquor store, wherever. It's very popular. This one says here established in 1888. It's authentic is what it says on the bottle. Straight Kentucky bourbon master distiller is Brent Elliott. It says here it's 40% alcohol, which is 80 proof, 750 milliliter bottle. It's saying here on the back that Paul Jones Jr. was the founder of Four Roses. He became smitten by a beautiful Southern belle, which he sent his proposal to her and she replied that if her answer were yes, she would wear a corsage of roses on her gown to the upcoming ball. When she showed up that night to the ball, um, in her beautiful gown, she wore a corsage of four red roses. He later named his bourbon Four Roses as the symbol of his devotion or his devout passion for his lovely belle. So that's kind of a cool quick, quick uh, kind of overview of what that is. It's a tribute, his company's a tribute to his lady, which is pretty sweet. That's that's pretty sick. And I like the logo, it's kind of got like an embossed logo, it's, you can kind of feel it stands out, which is pretty sweet. Um, I'm gonna hold it up so you can kind of see the color of it, and see if I can get out of the way. It's got a nice uh, kind of uh, brown, golden type of color. And uh, the reason I picked this one up was it's uh, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, and I thought that I would uh, buy this four rose bourbon to treat myself. You know, somebody's got to buy me a gift. It's going to be for myself, so it's nice. You know, cannot go wrong with buying yourself some four rose bourbon for Valentine's Day. It's good, good style. Anyhow, um, I'm going to jump into the nosing real quick. Now, keep in mind. I have had this bourbon before, but it was a long time ago, and uh, I don't specifically know how it smells or how it's supposed to taste. I didn't look that up on the internet. So it's like we're starting all over from scratch. I can't remember how this stuff tastes or smells, so uh, this review is kind of like doing a live review. We're, I'm just gonna open it up, we're gonna taste it, and we're, I'm gonna tell you what I think of it, and then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So anyways, I poured some out in this cup right here, and, uh, been resting for I don't know five minutes maybe I don't know if you can see in my video I'm gonna move out of the way but look at that sick nitro truck man that's sexy I don't know if you guys are in RC cars but another one of my passions alongside drinking um, whiskey or bourbon Whew. cannot go wrong with a nitro truck so much fun anyways back to the review let's go in for the nosing of this straight Kentucky bourbon and uh, in my review, I'll probably list uh, what the mash bill consists of. I'll probably list uh, what Brent Elliott looks like, Master Distiller, so you can kind of see who he is. Up here, I'll probably post pictures of the distillery so you can kind of get a feel of who these people are. Are they big? Are they small? I believe if I were to give you some history of it, they were founded in the 1800s. Uh, they were very popular at that time, but then they decided that they didn't want to sell. I think they were bought out by another bigger company. It could have been Seagram's or Kieran. And they decided that they weren't going to sell Four Roses for the US market anymore. It was going to be like European markets only. And that, I think that was a big mistake. But they thought it was a, you know, the right thing to do. And then I think actually when they were bought out by Kieran, um, they brought the bourbon back to the States and then it became really popular and famous again. But yeah, that's a, that's a general overview. You can read more about it um, in specifics. But uh, yeah, pretty cool company, pretty solid products. Um, 
the reason that I bought this uh, product was because of Antonio at Whiskey Quest, so I'll put him up here. He uh, picked up the small batch version of Four Roses, which is completely different than the original. And uh, he reviewed that one, so I'll link him up here. You can check out his uh, channel, that video. Awesome information. That guy has so much information, and he's so great at reviewing. And I'm really glad that you know we're friends on YouTube, and you know he's a new buddy of mine. Anyhow, uh, let's <laughs> let's jump back into the nosing really quick here. So let's go in real quick here. What am I smelling? Actually, the first thing I smell is apples. I'm getting like a red apple straight out. That's the first thing I'm noticing. And some people say, well, how do you pick up the uh, scents? It's like it's the first thing that hits your mind, really. You know, when you smell something, you can usually kind of tell what it is. Um, in this case, it's very, very uh, familiar. That's why I can, you know, pick up those apple molecules. I'm trying to think what else it smells like. I can smell like the uh, the oak. It's kind of got an apple slash oak forward um, aroma. But it's subtle. It's only 80 proof. It's not. It's not like overpowering. It's it's it smells good. I like it. It makes me want to drink it. You know, if something doesn't smell good, you don't want to try it. It's the same thing with when you eat things. You go to a restaurant. You're looking at the food. If it looks nasty, do you want to eat it? No. It has to look good to want to try it. That's why I always have a hard time eating Asian food. Asian food never looks good to me, but it tastes amazing. That might just be me because I'm American and I don't know what's good. Anyways, I'm going to jump into tasting it now. Let's, let's give this a little sip here. Cheers. Whew. Well, it's completely different than, than, than it smells. It's very spicy. Oh. Chokingly spicy, but it has an aftertaste of uh, like creaminess, like custard, custard cream, like that cream that are in those little pies. You know which one? <coughs> you know those little pies you used to be able to get at the grocery store that like they sold for a couple dollars or like this square little pie and had the custard cream in there? It's exactly what the aftertaste of this tastes like kind of custard cream or cream, like cream donut kind of thing. Oh, so good. So what I mean is it's kind of sweet. It's kind of sweet. Let me take another sip. Cheers. Now that time I'm a little bit used to the spiciness. I'm getting more of the oak from the barrel. And uh, maybe, <coughs> never mind, <coughs> never mind. Um, there is some other flavor there that's not that familiar to me. If I were to get, <coughs> Jesus, <coughs> don't take big sips of this stuff, gulps, bad idea. Maybe swishing, it's like I do, not, not recommended. Uh, it just tastes like cake, cake, baking, kind of, some kind of pastry maybe. Kind of got a doughy type of flavor. I don't know, whatever it is, it tastes good. It's not something that tastes bad. Um, this bourbon would probably be excellent mixing it, whether you put it with Coke, you put it with Dr. Pepper, uh, even 7-Up, uh, I've done that before, it tastes pretty good. Pepsi. Pepsi's good because that's kind of like really strong. It's double sweet. I don't know. Depends on how sweet you like your uh, your drinks. Or if you want to drink it fast and get all jacked up. Whatever whatever your goal is, you know. Me, I just like to enjoy it like this. Now, I didn't. Ha I don't have any water with me right now. So I can't really uh, change the flavor molecules tonight on this one. But so far, from what I've just had with you guys, it tastes good. Um... Let me see about the, the finish and the mouthfeel. I would say the mouthfeel is kind of like a buttery, creamy mouthfeel. But as far as the finish, let me check. Did 
It's real. It's short. It's very short. Because it's only 80 proof, it's not not crazy strong, but it tastes super good. Super good. So my <coughs> summary of this review is uh, it tastes great. It's a bit spicy, so adding some water, a couple drops might mellow it out, might change it and make it more pleasant. And then um, if I were to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say it's like a 9 in my book. Four Roses, solid, solid distillery. <coughs> Got some pretty huge names behind it, so they, they're making this stuff pretty, pretty, uh, pretty perfectly. And then uh, as far as the price of it, uh, this bottle that I purchased, I actually bought it at, out of all places. I bought it at Target. You know, surprisingly, Target has a huge whiskey selection. You would never think that Target's got good alcohol. Well, they do, man. They got scotch, Irish whiskey, tequila. They got it all, man. Bourbon. They got some stuff that even the regular liquor stores don't have. But yeah, I picked this up at Target. It was. It's $17.99. $17.99 for a bottle of freaking legit bourbon. I was like, hell yeah, dude, that's such a good price. And they're I think they're at Target their their small batch or even their single barrel is less than forty dollars. Freaking amazing deal. I'm out here in California, so I mean I don't know if the price is the same everywhere else, but in California, pretty cheap. So yeah. My review of this Four Rows uh, Straight Kentucky Bourbon, it's great. You should definitely buy it. Uh, you cannot go wrong with having Four Roses in your uh, collection. And then, um, you know, so I definitely recommend the original. I haven't tried the small batch or the single barrel, but I'm sure they're good. 100% sure. So maybe if you've got a birthday or, uh, or a holiday or something that's coming up, you should ask for it for a gift. That's what I always do. If you ask for get, uh, whiskey for gifts, then you can you know get things that are normally kind of expensive that you can't justify paying for, but someone else will pay. That's how I get most of my whiskey. I should ask for it for gifts. So the bottles like the Yam, uh, Yamazaki Yamazaki 12, I should ask for it for a gift. I'm not gonna pay $100 for a bottle of whiskey, but someone else will. So that's, that's a good tip. So anyways, uh, cheers. To everyone, happy early Valentine's Day. And if you see this video tomorrow, happy Valentine's Day. Don't forget to buy your ladies flowers, you know. That's really important. I know I did. Hopefully my wife doesn't see this video. So it's a surprise. But uh, yeah. So uh, thank you for watching my channel. Like and subscribe to me. Leave me some comments. Let me know what your feeling is about Four Roses. If you enjoy it or if you can tell me about the other ones. I haven't had those yet. Um... Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching my video, and uh, cheers again, and you guys have a wonderful night. Peace out.